Welcome to Local Rock Talk. And I have a, a special guest and a longtime friend of mine mm -hmm. named Matt Jackson. How's it going, Paul? I'm doing good, man. Good, man. You look good. Yeah, you too, man. Thanks, brother. Thanks. Yeah. Well, we know each other for a long, long, long time. Yeah, honestly, if I had to guess, since I got, we met um, in driver's ed back in the day, so probably about 14 years now. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a long time. I mean, I don't really have a lot of friends <laughs> that I've known that <laughs> long anymore, I don't think. Yeah. It's all, so we still know each other since t till today. Definitely, yeah, we kept in touch and come to some family cookouts and stuff like that when I'm back in town. Yeah. It's definitely always good to keep uh, keep in touch, and I'm really grateful for you to have me on today. Yeah. And it's good to see each other since then, so. Oh, man, yeah. I missed you, bud. Yeah, me too, man. Rock on, dude. Yeah, rock on, man. Yeah, go uh, check his Facebook out. Give it a like and stuff. Well, yeah, man. Uh, you can do uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's all the same stuff, um, at Matt Jackson Live. And that'll be uh, my website as well, which I'm working on right now. So please support them. Thank you. I would appreciate it. No problem, man. All right. I have about seven questions for you, and then you can do your thing after that. Awesome. Sounds good. All right. The first question I have. Mm -hmm. When did you start playing guitar? Guitar. Um, well, when I first started playing guitar, probably, I guess, <laughs> professionally, whatever that really means, um, I think I was about uh, 13 years old. My dad um, I w always had guitars around the house when I was growing up. He used to play guitars, but he had uh, had a stroke when he was younger, and coordination was all off, but they still were around the house, and I was messing around on one that had about four strings for a while, and uh, he's like, is that something you want to do? And I said, yeah, so he took me out, and he bought me my first uh, guitar. It was a blue court down from Haverhill Music when they were still open. Yeah, um, I remember that place. Yeah, the place was great, man. I bought it from a guy named Steve who used to work down there. And uh, yeah, I got my first guitar and uh, the rest is kind of history. Um, just kind of like started playing music. I wrote my first song maybe three months after I started playing. And yeah, I've, I've just loved it. I just love the instrument. I love music and the ability to create it. Uh, you know that. Heck yeah. yeah. I like your two albums, one I have. The ones I have. Definitely, you might have some of the last copies in in uh, circulation right now. I gotta uh, I gotta reprint those. I think. Yeah. So all right. Yeah, just go on the website and that's it. Yeah, for sure. On the website, you can uh, hopefully soon. I'm uh, currently under construction, but you'll be able to find. I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff out there that you can listen to. Um, some old albums and uh, some new music coming up soon too. Awesome. Okay. Do you make your own music? I do, yeah. I, uh, I've written all my own music since the start. Um, I've tried to co-write with some people and had kind of varying amounts of success. Uh, I think in Nashville, I thought I was gonna have some more collaborations when I lived down there. But um, yeah, I think it's just, you gotta find the right styles and you also, <laughs> Um, you have to find somebody who's also bringing something to the table, I think. Um, but um, yeah, I write all my own music that I produce, and if I write songs with other people, usually we do them as a duet, um, or I'll have like credit on the track or something like that. But yeah, I've never had anybody write on any of my songs, no. Awesome. All right. Well, yeah, some other questions, but. It's not, it's not about music either, so. Yeah, that's but, fine. Ask her away, man. I'm an open book. Oh, yeah. I'm big on vulnerability. <laughs> okay. How long we know each other since we met? Well, uh, we talked about this a little bit earlier, but I think, let's see, if I got my license when I was 16 or so, we probably met about 14, 15 years ago, I think probably would have been around that time period. I think maybe my sophomore year in high school. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think that was it. Yeah, I forgot my year, but. <laughs> uh, let's see, the year's 2019. So I think we did meet in the winter too. Um, so yeah. it probably would have been, I think, 
let's see, if, uh, December, let's call it December 2018, 14. So probably 2000 minus 10 minus four, uh, 2006 maybe? No, before that, 2004. I think it would have been 2004 or so. Yeah. Yeah, that might be right. <laughs> maybe. I yeah. Don't know. I'm not good with time or dates or anything like that. Yeah. Or reality. <laughs> uh, there's another question. How are your parents doing? Um, uh, well, my mother um, is doing uh, well. She's in Methuen right now. My father, uh, unfortunately, just passed away in December um, after uh, a short battle with cancer. He just passed away. Um, and uh, my uh, which has been kind of hard, but you know, I've been able to pour a lot of energy into music. And um, my uh, stepfather is doing well. He's uh, living yeah, with my mother. That's the one I met. Yeah, yeah. You met my uh, stepfather. I think you met my dad at one point, too. But yeah, my stepfather's doing well. He's living with my mother and my little sister over in uh, Methuen right now. They're, uh, my mom still um, has the shop in Andover, and uh, my stepfather's still working at uh, Regis, I think. What? Well, Tell them I said hi. Absolutely, yeah. They're probably surprised that you came on the show, my show today. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, not a lot surprises my parents anymore. <laughs> I've had uh, quite the last decade, I think, so I think there would be few things that would probably shock them. Yeah. Well, they should check it out. Or, definitely. Or yeah, I'll make sure that I, uh, that I share My YouTube channel, it. stuff like that. I'll have them check it out, yeah. I'll definitely be sharing it. Yeah. All right. What's up, Matt, parents? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what other area you been before? Uh, you mean like uh, geographically, like, like where have I lived and stuff? Yeah, like uh, after we met and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I moved kind of all over the country. I, uh, the first time I left, I went to Nashville for a while. Um, and then uh, after about a year in Nashville, I was uh, pretty exhausted. Um, it's like a grind and a hustle down there for sure. So I came back for a little uh, stunt and then I spent about a year traveling and living around the country. Um, I lived in Seattle, um, Santa Barbara, San Diego for a little bit, New Orleans. Uh, I spent a couple weeks in Texas, a couple weeks in Alabama, and then spent some months um, in uh, Southern Florida. And then came back again for a little bit and then after that, I, uh, I moved out to Hawaii, um, where I lived on and off for about three years, and then the West Coast for six months out of that, and then Seattle recently for the summer, and I came back to New England in September. So, um, yeah, I've kind of been, been around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and then you're back around here. I am, yeah, I'll be back around here. I'd say the word permanently really loosely, but uh, I don't have any plans to leave as of now, and uh, I'm kind of staying focused here to like work on my music and really just connect with my family. Yeah, hang out more too. Absolutely, yeah. I know, we need to do that again. For sure, man, for sure. Yeah. All right, so um, how long you been playing? Like how many years? So for guitar, let's see, it would have been like 12, 13, oh man, I'm feeling old. So like uh, maybe like 18 years on guitar. Um, I think I started playing my first gigs at, uh, I don't know if people remember this, but Borders Bookstore. It's probably the first gig outside of the school I had, right? <laughs> Raj is like, yeah. Uh, it was a cool place. It was uh, back, they used to let people do music there. And uh, I guess this kind of was like a Barnes and Noble, but for some reason Barnes and Noble managed to kind of get through the recession and uh and the technological change but so out live probably about 15 years i think that's a long time yeah. I, rem I remember that um i think i went with you too to borders you know you know in boston oh yeah 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 one of the boston shows for sure yeah so i think i went with you right absolutely yeah yeah i used to i mean i've played over three thousand shows at this point so yeah definitely Feeling. I know me and you did a picture together then. What's that? Me and you did a picture together then. Yeah, we did one down in Boston for sure. Yeah. That, that was a good time. Yeah, I do love Boston. 
recently went to the Patriots parade. That was a lot of fun. Well, I, I didn't get up on time, so I couldn't go. Oh, it's all good. I mean, it was fun. There was a lot of people there, though. Yeah. All right. How can people get in contact with you? Uh, well, it depends how they're trying to get in contact with me. But um, if people want to find me on uh, social media or anything like that, um, all of my social media across the board, uh, whether it's YouTube or uh, Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, or I guess I'm going to start a Snapchat again because people are still doing that. Um, I have a account myself. I know. I had one. I deleted it. It felt like a lot of work. But now that I'm going back into music, I got to definitely get on board with that. Um, but all of it is the same handle. So it's at Matt Jackson Live. And if you're not familiar with the term handle, you just go to the website dot com slash uh, Matt Jackson Live and then they'll be able to find me on all those. Yep. Oh, Snapchat. <laughs> oh yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, man. All right. Um anything else you want to talk about? Um, I don't know. Uh I guess like I uh, wanted to kind of talk about my music because it's a lot more message driven at this point. But yeah, a lot of my music's about kind of trying to positively empower people. Um, so just let go of toxic behaviors, like believe themselves a little bit more, get out of their heads and their egos, trust their heart yeah. more. But try to do that from like a real, like kind of vulnerable, um, authentic standpoint. I think there's a lot of music out there, but I don't know that all of it's necessarily authentic or constructive. And I'm trying to write songs from my perspective. Um, that are also accessible. Like, I don't want to just write, like, straight ballads telling people to believe in themselves. Yeah. Like, I like Fight Song. That's a cool jam. But I think that's kind of a one-off if you're going to, like, want to do that. What I'm trying to do is cover from a lot of different angles that um, I think maybe people haven't necessarily covered or talked about. Um, and I hope that I do it in a unique way. Um, but, yeah, so that's what I'm about as a person. It's what I'm about musically, and it's definitely something that um, I'm really, really passionate about is that vulnerability and authenticity um, and accountability and just like helping people to empower themselves through my music. Awesome. Yeah, man. Now, Sunday, I would like to try to do the bass for you because I have bass guitar. Yeah, man, I would love that. I think it'd be you cool. You just have to show me like how, what to do on mm -hmm. it and stuff like yeah. that. Well, I figure, um, you know, on those same social media we talked about, what we can do is get together. And uh, we'll put together like a little song, and we'll throw a clip up on all our social media yeah, so people can. Yeah, we have to like try make our own songs to, with the beats I do. Mm -hmm. like, can we play guitar or stuff? Yeah, man, we'll uh, we'll find a good jam and we'll put something up there so people yeah. can uh, people can hear uh, can, me and you playing together. Yeah, we could do like two guy type thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. man, I think it'd be cool. Like play up just shows a, or just stuff. Just a duo. Yeah, we could probably I could have you out to some shows. I mean, I play for three hours straight so it'd be a lot of rehearsing to get to that point so yeah but i would love to have you out to a couple of my shows we can do some videos and uh i always welcome uh musicians out to my shows to kind of collaborate because i think it's more music needs to be seen and heard and more people need to be able to collaborate on different mediums and platforms yeah so i was doing the thing i thought it's like give me a lip and stuff it's like with my bass guitar. yeah man. i, think I have an cool. for too great yeah it's even better that way it's uh, like this size right here like mm -hmm. so that's what it is. Awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely do it. We'll have to figure that out. We'll, uh, we'll put links up for everybody to go see it. Yeah. Awesome, man. Do some of those stuff for you. That'd be cool. Yeah, man. You can get a bass player with Mac Jackson live, <laughs> you know? Well, I have a couple people that play bass when I do big shows um, that I rehearse with pretty regularly, but I'm always down to do different shows with different people and stuff like that. So yeah, I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Does that show me the rules on my base? Mm -hmm. That way I get used to it. Absolutely, yeah. A lot of my stuff's pretty pretty straightforward too. And we'll rehearse a little bit. Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah. So we should set that up. For sure. All right. Now. Mm hmm You know any couple songs? I do. I got a couple songs of mine that I'm gonna uh I'll, I'll play for you guys. I happen to have a guitar right here. All right. So so um <laughs> Here is Matt Jackson playing a couple songs. Uh, this first song is go. going to be my upcoming uh, single release, um, hopefully sometime in March. This one is called uh, Two Cents. It's kind of a rambling of my thoughts and also kind of letting people know that, uh, yeah, I'm writing the music for the music, not for the money, and uh, kind of centered in love. So. Mm. 
I don't try and write the songs that have all been written before. I work hard on original scrolls, but I've heard so many songs in my life. I'm sure that other styles be through sometimes. There's a lot of good artists doing a lot of good things, but I just want to get up on the stage and sing songs from my heart, just how they come out with all of my soul and without any doubts. So take your two cents if it sounds like you Cause money's never the reason for anything that I do It's the truth and it's my own damn view And I don't get who's got opinions on my two cents If it sounds like you Cause money's never the reason for anything that I do It's the truth and it's my own damn view And I don't get who's got opinions on it Cause everyone's got opinions on it Yo, I don't believe in not believing in anything in this world. There's unlimited opportunities for every boy and girl. You gotta bottle the organ in the left of your chest. And don't accept anything any less than the best. You can dream it, damn sure. You know that you'll achieve it. It's as simple as that and go. Easy as leaving anything holding you back. And just remember it's stacked in your favor. Love now, don't ever wait till later. No, don't you ever wait. And take your two cents if it sounds like you Cause love is always the reason for everything that I do It's the truth and it's my own damn view And I don't care who's got opinions on my two cents If it sounds like you Love is always the reason for everything that I do It's the truth and it's my own damn view And I don't care who's got opinions on it Cause everyone's got opinions on it mm -hmm. I know I won't ever be alone in this life So I live like time is just an illusion Like winning or losing or failing at anything that you try And that's my two cents If it sounds like you Money's never the reason for anything that I do It's the truth and it's my own damn view And I don't get who's got opinions on my two cents If it sounds like you Money's never the reason for anything that I do It's the truth and it's my own damn view And I don't care who's got opinions on my two cents If it sounds like you Love is always the reason for everything that I do It's the truth and it's my own damn view And I don't care who's got opinions on it Cause everyone's got opinions on it And that's my two cents If it sounds like you Money's never the reason for anything that I do It's the truth and it's my own damn you And I don't care who's got opinions on it Yeah, so that's... that's cool. Thanks man, yeah, I'm stoked about it It's a cool jam the I rode in a trailer up in Poland Springs, Maine, uh, when I was uh, working and living up there for a little bit. And uh, yeah, it was a really cool, uh, really cool song um, based off of kind of when, uh, so Sam Smith wrote a song called Stay With Me, and Stay With Me sounds exactly like Won't Back Down by Tom Petty. Well, Tom Petty reached out to Sam Smith and was like, you stole my song. And uh, Sam Smith was like, oh yeah, I totally did. I'm sorry, take whatever amount of money you want from the sales. And I thought that was like, just super cool and he was like yeah take the money and uh, so I thought it would be cool to say like take your two cents if it sounds like you because money's not the reason you know for anything that I do <laughs> but yeah I like to thanks man I want to draw that bass with that one <laughs> that's a good one that one's got a good a good bass groove yeah so you want to hear one more yeah yeah one more song cool um, you want up uh, you probably want something a little bit more upbeat yeah Cool. All right. This is a song. So this one uh, won't be released till the summertime off my album, but it's called I Want Sunshine. And it was uh, right before I left for Nashville, I wrote this song. Um, the whole premise behind it was uh, deciding that like you want more in your life. Uh, I left New England, which in the wintertime is not necessarily a sunshiny place. <laughs> so uh, the whole premise and uh, behind it was uh, deciding that you want more, that you like deserve something more and kind of letting go of the things that are holding you back from that so yeah i wrote this one back then and uh this will be kind of my lead off summer single ideally cool <clears throat> well i want sunshine and i want love without condition and i want good time without anybody dissing anybody else but anyway 
Before I go, I have to say I'll be wishing you the best from where I am And I hope you understand Darling, I, I hope you understand That I You just talk, 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 to talk all the time about Make, make, making up your mind about anything Or anyone at all but I ain't wait, 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 we're waiting anymore I can't take, take, to take anymore Are you playing games or laying blame When you know it don't belong And you know it don't belong And I want sunshine I want love without condition I want good times Without anybody dissing anybody else But anyway before I go, I have to say I'll be wishing you the best from where I am And I hope you understand Darling, I, well, I hope you understand That I Well, I can smell the sea air And I want to be there In my mind, I'm already driving up to the beach Where my troubles are behind me No one to remind me about my past And my future's looking shiny So I close my eyes and I make a little wish That you are doing fine And I blow a little kiss Up into the rays of a shooting star And I pray that it finds you Hope it finds you Wherever you are And you've got sunshine you got love without condition you got good times without anybody dissing anybody else. But anyway, before I go, I have to say I'll be wishing you the best from where I am. And I hope you understand I've got nothing left inside of me but love for you. And though we say goodbye, our journey's never truly through. So, so long. Farewell. See you later and goodbye. Adios and sayonara. I'm feeling oh, sing good night. Cause I'm off to sunshine. I'm off to love without condition. I'm off to blue skies and good times without anybody dissing anybody else. But anyway, before I go, I have to say I'll be wishing you. Best from where I am. I'll keep wishing you the best from where I am. And I hope you understand. Darling, I, well, I hope you understand that I, well, I can smell the sea and, and I want to be there. In my mind, I'm already diving up to the beach When my troubles are behind me No one to remind me about my past And my future's looking shiny So I close my eyes and I make a little wish you doing fine And I blow a little kiss Up into the rays of a shooting star And I pray that it finds you Hope it finds you Wherever you are And you've got sunshine Thank you, man. Yeah, so that one hopefully will be on my album this summer. Untitled, not the song, the album. <laughs> <laughs> well, Andrew, those are two good, awesome songs. Thanks, man. I appreciate you saying that. I mean, everybody's opinions are different, and I just try to make music that I love. Uh, I love playing. Yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna try to learn those songs for my bass. Well, as soon as I get them recorded, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's it for this episode of Local Rock Talk. So, thanks for watching. Until Thank next you. time, have a good night and rock on. Rock on. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Local Rock Talk with your host, Paul Zabrilli. <laughs>